that it is really hard as a gender non-conforming person of color, quasi amputee with rickets, to find somebody to talk to who will listen to me speak my truth. Did I just hear somebody laughing on that hall? You have my ass on speaker? No. Welcome to Dove. Para Español, oprima el dos. No. Thank you for contacting Dove. My name is... How can I help you today? Oh, okay. Thank, thank the Lord you've answered. I would like to file a complaint. And I, sh I should ask. I'm sorry. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? I have been better. Like, like I said, I would like to lodge a complaint, if you please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Are you the representative I would speak with? Because I want to talk with someone who can make a change over there at Dove. I don't want it to just go to some, you know, folks who just send it on to the higher ups. Um, I don't have the authority to give you anyone higher, up, but I can absolutely take note of your comment, and it does get passed along. That is sort of the chain of command here. Okay, well, I am calling regarding your real beauty campaign. You aware of your, your mm -hmm. real beauty campaign? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere. About body positivity? Yeah. And I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to let you, I, I want to say at first, I appreciate y'all doing that work. I appreciate that you want to represent people, different people, non-binaries, non okay? Non-binaries, men and women, and, and people from different cultures, different races, different body types, because I get it, that's hard, right? But mm -hmm. I... Still, I do not, I myself am not represented at all by this campaign, and I am frankly offended that people of my ilk have been left out. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that to confirm your calling, because the Real Beauty campaign, you still feel excluded from. Absolutely. Um, and I got it. And I, let me tell y'all, I am a real beauty. I'm saying, I think y'all have a blind spot, because I am a non, a gender non-conforming person of color. You see that in the campaign? No. No, yeah, you don't. Absolutely. You don't see that in the campaign. And that, guess what? Is that, does that mean I'm not a real beauty though? No, and you're- I think that's what, I think that's what I it means. I'm a person, a gender non-conforming person of color, okay, Z of color, and and I'm a quasi-amputee. Mm. I don't see that in the campaign. Is that in the campaign? You got any quasi-amputees quasi in the campaign? Don't believe so, no. How about folks with rickets? I also have rickets. I have four rickets. So let me tell, let me tell you, my name is, my name is Jesse. Okay, Jess apostrophe E. I'm telling you, what I see when I see that campaign is, we want, oh, we want people of all body types here at Doug. As long as people out there are part of a demographic, they're going to buy a soap. But there's enough people, right? We got, we got skinny people, we got fat people, we got black people, we got lesbians, right? We got gays, but we don't have a combination of a non-conforming person of color quasi-amputee with rickets. I, I apologize for that, but you do feel excluded by that, and I can absolutely empathize with how you- Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate that. your empathy. Let me ask you this. I know you apologize, and listen, I know, I know you get people who just be pissed off calling me all the time. So I don't want to come down on you. I don't want to come down on y'all, right? Because I understand. Like, it's not your fault. But that's why I want to talk to somebody who can make a change because I know you got to apologize. But, I, you know, I want to ask you how, you, how how do you feel? How do you feel when you hear that? Do you think, do you, do you feel good about that? That I'm not representing that campaign? No, I can definitely empathize with how I empathize, don't sympathize. Obviously, I've never been in your shoes, so that is not something that I could feel, but I genuinely am sorry, and I can't imagine how it feels for you. I'm sorry. It feels, you know what it feels like? It feels like I live in death. It feels like I'm alive, but I'm dead at the same time because it's like I might as well be dead because ain't nobody recognizing my existence. And I don't know why, you know, listen, you get pats on the back from all the white people up there in Williamsburg pushing black folk out, and they talking about how they all progressive and shit. And then you got someone like me. How do I, listen, I am a, I am a non-conforming person of color. We already, listen, you can, you can cross, you can cross that off the list. We don't even get to cross amputee in Ricketts, let alone single income household. I'm a single mom, right? That, I don't see that in there. You know what else I don't see? Y'all have interviews with y'all models? I 
Let me look into that for you. I can already answer the question. It's not your fault, but no, no. We talking about all different kinds of beauty. How about the inner beauty dance? I'm just supposed to look and be like, oh, that's a fat, that's a, that's a fat white bitch. I'm supposed to think that person's good looking, but I don't know nothing about them. I want to hear what that black woman there, that black woman, I want to hear what she has to say. I want to hear what she has to say. Why is she using Dove? What made her want to do the campaign for Dove? You telling me, oh, everybody's beautiful, but all, and, and we all supposed to have self-confidence, and that's all well and good, but I'm just supposed to look at their bodies. And, that, and the bodies that ain't represented, you know, ain't represented by me. Bodies that are white and black, but they're all people, they ain't got no, they ain't got no gender non-conforming people of color. They all got legs, all, all that shit. What can y'all do about this? Who do I got to talk to to make a change? Because I get it, y'all progressive, but it seems like y'all progressive in a way that's maybe comfortable. And what I'm doing right now, I hope you understand what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sure that you are all a little, and not you, because it sounds to me like you, you, you cool. It sounds to me like you understand where I'm coming from. But I want to make Dove just a little bit uncomfortable so y'all can feel the pain that I feel every f***ing day as a gender non-conforming person of color who is a quasi-amputee with rickets in a single-income household. What we got to do? Um, what I can do is forward your comments to the brand. If you'd like, I can take down your contact information in case uh, they're inclined to contacting you. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to type as I talk, but what I is that a joke? And I have is that a joke? Taken... Is that a joke about my quasi amputee? Because no. you, I know you didn't just oh. make a joke about the fact that I can't type at all. I was not touching at all. I genuinely apologize. I was being genuine in that I was. Uh, Apology to... accepted. But don't let me catch you doing it again. Who's that? Can I get a name? Can I get a name? Do I got to speak with the supervisor? Because I appreciate that you empathize, but I want to make sure that the people there who are making decisions, who are going out and putting this, putting this up there in Cosmopolitan and L and shit, that they hear from me. Absolutely. So you do want to speak with the supervisor? Yeah. If, that, if that's going to make a change, I'm just calling trying to make a change. We are the change we seek. Absolutely. All right. Um, Absolutely. In that case, if you don't mind, I'm going to place you on a brief hold while I reach out to my supervisor and see who's available to take a call. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling, Duff. My name is I'm one of the supervisors. Is this Jesse? Hi, this is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. I understand you were calling in today regarding the, uh, the Real Beauty campaign? Yes, can I say ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I and I spoke and I spoke with you, and, and I gotta tell you, it was great. It was very helpful. Okay. And I know that y'all deal with people on customer service all the time, calling in pissed. I get it's not your fault, but it is really hard as a gender non-conforming person of color, quasi amputee with rickets, to find somebody to talk to who will listen to me speak my truth. Okay. Well, I certainly understand. And, and this was in regards to the, the campaign that you saw, and, and where did you see that um, advertisement on? Was that like where, a YouTube video? Where did I see the advertisement? Where did or? I not see that advertisement? That's the problem. It's like, you know, one of those, you know one of those paintings that has like the eyes that are a little bit further back than the rest of the painting, so when you move, the eyes are following you and shit? It's like that everywhere I go. It's on YouTube. I go to buy some clothes. It's showing up in my auto ads. I see I saw it on the subway. I see the real beauty ads everywhere. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, I, I appreciate the concept. I think the idea of, a real, of real beauty is great. You got people of all different shapes and sizes. That's fantastic. But I don't see, I look at all of them women and people, and not, but I don't see my face. I don't see myself represented at all. And I want to know why Dove thinks that it's okay to exclude people of my ilk in y'all real beauty campaign when I am, and I don't, know, don't let nobody tell you different, I am a real beauty. Let me ask you this. When you look at that campaign, if you can bring it up right now, what do you see? What kind of people do you see? Oh, no, I certainly understand. And I'm so sorry that you may not have been represented. Um, what I may, more than happy may to not have been represented. The concern. You think it's a may? I'm telling you that it's proactive. I am telling you, listen, it's not just Doug. It's everybody. 
I don't see any, any time I go and see a commercial, I go to, I go to Whataburger, I go down to Carl's Jr., Burger King and shit. I don't see nobody like me on any of the campaigns, and then I hear Dove doing a real beauty campaign. It's gonna be including people of all different shapes and sizes and races. I start and think, things are looking up for Jesse. And then I tune, and it's the same stuff. It's the same shit that I've seen with every other campaign. That's why I'm most upset about this, because I'm talking about, I work in, I'm a small business owner. It's what we call opportunity cost. Opportunity cost, because this, this was a moment for someone like me to shine, and we ain't even included. And I am so sorry Did I just hear somebody that. laughing in that hall? Absolutely. Did I just hear somebody laughing on that hall? You have my ass on speaker? No, there was not. I'm sorry. It sounds to me I like mean, I'm hearing laugh in your voice. Around me, but I'm sorry now. There ain't nothing funny about this because I live in this every day. It's not no, just some little thing that I'm using not. to sell some more detergent. Okay? I live every day as a gender non-conforming person of color, quasi-amputee with rickets, single-income household. I'm a single mother. And here's something else I was asking. I was asking, I want to know about these people. I don't want to just see their bodies. It's like Dove saying, hey, 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 everybody more than their bodies. We look at inner beauty. Do you have any interviews with them people? What are their likes? What are their hobbies? Are they a member of the Rotary Club? What do they do? I have no idea. I'm just looking at a bunch of white bodies and cis black women and Dove calls that progress. Is that what you think is progress? You think that's inclusive? No, I understand your concern, absolutely. And I appreciate your comments and I'm absolutely going to forward those to the brand, Desi. Who do you have? Do you no, have anyone I in your department who might be able to share my pain, who might be able to relate with my struggle? Do you have anybody in your department who is gender nonconformant? Got any more rickets? Uh, no, I, I do not. I'm so sorry. How many rickets do you have in that office? Anyone with rickets? Uh, that's information that I don't have. I, I apologize. But I'm more than it's happy. It's information you have if you've seen a people with rickets. If you've seen a person with rickets, you can tell. It's the eyeball test. It's just the eyeball test. It ain't that hard to figure out. You would know if you've seen someone with rickets. You've seen somebody walking around like, like Doc Holliday, like he going out west for tuberculosis and shit. Well, I, I'm very sorry, Jesse. I'm, I'm not familiar with it, so I don't know much about it. And That's I, what I'm saying. That's the problem. That's the problem. Thing. That's the problem. Said, You're not even familiar with it. You know what Ricketts is? I, I do not, but that oh doesn't mean Lord. that I don't care about the situation. Well, it doesn't I'm seem like Dove cares. I've had enough. This up okay, to please. Our send that up. Send that up. Send that up. And I want to see in that next campaign from Doug, I want to see from Dove someone like me. Matter of fact, call me. I am available and I need work. Just apostrophe E, you can call me back. You got, a, you got a pencil there? You got a pen that you can write with? I can absolutely take down your information here. That I must be that nice. Said, I'm sorry, you said that's J-E-S-S -S apostrophe E. Yes. Sometimes I use a semicolon. Okay. Okay. And you can call me back at And the, no, uh, you must have cut out. Yeah, yeah, I must have. Okay. I'm sorry, is there a last name that I can apply to this as well? Nope. It is just Jess apostrophe E. I went through a lot of work to get that shit on my driver's license. I don't need a last name. All right. Not a problem at all. And all right. I will absolutely forward this information along. You go ahead and you do that. You tell them that Jess apostrophe E is available. And not only, not only for, for beauty shots, but I'm available for an interview to speak to the transgender, gender nonconforming people of color, quasi-amputee, with Ricketts, single mother community at large. There's a lot of us out there now. All right, absolutely. I can do that for you. All right, I appreciate it. And see, people at Dove, maybe you think we're fighting. I think we're finally talking. I'll talk to you later. You have a, and I will, I'm waiting for that call. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Jesse. And you have a Are wonderful afternoon. Are you laughing? Are you laughing? I'm hearing laughing right now in your voice. No, Jesse. What? No. Yes, don't do it. Don't do me like that. We had a good phone call. Now I gotta ruin it by sitting there laughing, laughing like a cis, like a cis woman. And by the way, I think I can hear from your voice that you a white cis woman laughing at a woman, 
of color, gender non-conforming, quasi-amputee, single-income household with rickets. Not at all, Jesse. I'm so sorry if you took it that way. I certainly did not mean anything at all. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of confused a little bit, so I'm, I'm just, I apologize for any confusion. What confusion? Because I feel that, that I made myself that you, crystal that clear. I just apologize because I, I was not laughing at you in any, any way, and I'm so sorry if you thought that. Yeah, I did think that. It sounded like it. It sounded like it. No, I, no I'm very, very sorry that you, you may have assumed that. I, that's not happening. I don't know if maybe you may have heard somebody in the background having a conversation with someone else, but I, I just... No, I didn't hear nobody in the background that. talking to somebody else. I heard, I, I heard you say, yeah, 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 we'll call you back. That's the shit that I heard. I can get, listen, I can, this next phone call can be ACLU or Jesse Jackson. I just want to make sure that you don't find my condition funny and that you're taking it seriously and this isn't going to go in some suggestion box with a bunch of other angry white women saying, oh, 77 cents on the dollar and shit. I want it to go to someone who really understands the community that I represent, gender non-conforming, people of color, quasi-amputee, single income household with rickets. No, I absolutely do understand. And our black Hebrew Israelite. You know Jesus was black? Did you know Jesus? That's enough. I, it's bad enough that I got to look at posters and paintings all over the place with Jesus looking like he just came out of a, an SS catalog and blonde hair and, and, and blue eyes. Jesus was black. All right, let's get back to your data. Uh, 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 all right, Jesse, thank you for your... Hey there, YouTube viewer, you know the drill. Just click one of these other videos in a box playing up here. And I mean, there's an actual box. I don't, of course, mean that in the feminine, it's a slur, but that, of course, I don't mean box because men can have boxes too. And I don't mean to say box. I just, that men can, there's like a DC outlet and an AC outlet, and they can be either one that they choose depending on the electrical current or the charge of ions, I think.